Goyo, Ang Batang General, directed by Gerald Tarog, is a sequel to the 2015 movie General Luna, both of which are movies based on historical events. This movie is very different from General Luna in the way that General Luna is more of high swings of emotion. That movie may make you laugh a lot or be very angry as opposed to this movie where it's a lot quieter. It's a lot more subtle in the emotion. It's more of a slow build-up in pacing where it climaxes almost at the end, which is, no spoiler, the Battle of Tirad Pass. You could say in a way that the way these movies are designed is very reflective on the movie's main protagonist. So General Luna is more of, you know, it's more angry, it's more explosive, it's more catastrophic in a way. Whereas Goyo is a lot more, it's a lot more low-key, it's more calm, it's more controlled, and it's, it's a lot more under the nose. And as for the dialogue, there are a lot of relevant messages injected in the script's dialogue, such as when, when Art Acuna's character was getting beaten in prison. He had this line where he tells Goyo, You're nothing but a dog to your leader, Aguinaldo, while we have our principles. Something like that. Now, the visuals in this movie are absolutely spectacular. There are so many beautiful landscapes, beautiful frames, beautiful production sets, costumes, and even effects. The effects on this movie is just on another level. We see in General Luna, we see a lot of green screen effects in there and you know at times I thought it would be noticeable but in this movie it's completely unnoticeable. Like the fact that they had effects, I di it doesn't even cross my mind, It doesn't. I, di I never noticed any effects. So that just goes to show how good the effects are, especially for me because I do some visual effects work sometimes. Now while we can always make fun of these mediocre quality produced TV shows, we can always talk about this. Like this one is on another level. I'd say it's almost, and I mean not even almost, this is on Hollywood's level. I believe that. The movie cin cinematography is a lot more it's a lot more natural, it's a lot more ambient, and you could really feel the harsh rays of the sun or the cold moon when it comes to just, just looking at the image. It feels almost relaxing to look at, as opposed to Genero Luna, which looked more like a TV show when it comes to its visuals, because apparently if you look hard enough, you can look, notice the lighting, where it's coming from, and all that. But this movie was lit very well, it was composed very well, and it was shot very well. Now, the movie's direction is, like the story, it's completely different from Mineral Luna. It, it kind of looks like a point of view from Goyo, the way he saw the Philippines and all that. I'm, I'm very impressed with some of the camera directions that, like, they would track on one character, then they would, they would slide to the next, and then it would unfold another scene. It's a uh, very... JJ Abrams or even Spielberg to be honest but what I was really amazed about this movie is that it felt it felt suspenseful in a way like there was this scene where they were heading into battle and there there was this epic tune coming in and it it really s sent chills down my spine and I think that's very rare when you when you experience that especially for a local movie but like I said it was suspenseful because even though we know that, you know, there's no spoiler, Goya dies, he, sh he shot in the back and all that. Even though we know that, um, I feel like, I felt like they had a chance. And that's what you want to see in the movie, is that creation of expectation. And you still don't know what's coming, even if you know what's coming, if you know, if you know what I mean. Um, it felt like Goya was going to be, is he going to have the shot at redemption? No pun intended. That That's what I was thinking. Anyway, this movie kind of gives off the same feeling of disappointment towards our countrymen in the past or in, and even the present. This movie is very relevant to today's society in the Philippines. Uh, I recall this one scene where the Filipino army, the, the, the soldiers were sh shooting from the top of Tirad Pass. When they saw how helpless the Americans were, they were shouting, they were jumping around, they were, they were almost celebrating. And I thought that that is very Filipino. You know, um, that sort of Pinoy pride, or that that sort of machismo going on. Like, even though they haven't won, we sort of settle on it. 
and you know after that they got they get betrayed by their by the Filipino natives and the Americans flank them from behind and as soon as they get shot at they start running away like cowards like these Filipinos were dancing and partying on top of the right pass they they run away like cowards and it is said that they even remove their their clothes so they won't be identified as Filipino soldiers so it's kind of messed up in a way like in General Luna it was uh, Aguinaldo's tribal mentality that brought the downfall of General Luna and the Philippine army and this one is it's our own you know mindset it's our uh, highly incompetent nature it sort of brings us down and i think it still applies to this day it's it's uh, sort of political if you want to look at it that way but it's it's i guess it's also merely just presenting what happened um, everything that i mentioned it all happened it all happened in the movie and it all happened in history you can just look back in documentaries and you'll see that this is this is real and this is this is really frustrating anyway there are there is some there are other movie reviews that say it's almost like they're trying to take Hinal del Pilar from his pedestal which they see this is move this movie is about uh, taking down Hinal del Pilar's high image which is sort of true but i think this movie is more critical of aguinaldo and his and his blind followers and i think it's also relevant to this day this sort of blind allegiance to to certain political figures or just people in general we sort of we don't have we almost trade away our principles just to be just to be close with this person or to be friends with this person or to to receive any benefits i like these movies because it sort of presents the roots of our nature as Filipinos and especially our incompetent nature as Filipinos and I think everyone should watch it just because of this fact um, it's really messed up how bad this is and how bad it brought us down as a as a nation uh, even to this day we could have easily come back from this anyway watch this movie this movie is a 9 out of 10 for me it's great perfectly executed in terms of technicals maybe the story could have been a little bit better but it's great it's a great story I, I like the subject that they tackled on i like it but uh i guess what general luna has over this movie is general luna is a great character like you like the character in this movie the character is sort of i wouldn't say he's not likable but i don't really have an opinion about him so it's more like that uh, General Luna is more fun. It's more funny. It's, this movie, while it might not be as entertaining as General Luna, it might not make make you laugh as much. While it certainly it is funny at times, it's more it's more subtly executed. Like they don't trade away emotional moments for moments of laughter. That's what they like to call bathos, where you make a funny joke at a potentially emotional moment. Uh, I think the script is better executed in that way because they, they they really avoid these mistakes. I mean, Direct Gerald Tarag really learned from his mistakes from Hanera Luna. So I think this is, it's more, it has less flaws than Hanera Luna. It might have less, um, it might have less good points, but overall, it's it's a great looking movie. It's a good story, great characters, great acting. You know, I treat this movie as special as um, Star Wars or Avengers because you know, it's not every day that we come across this kind of movie where a lot of heart was put into it, a lot of thought was put into it. It's not merely just a money making scheme like some of these movies we have. I'm sure despite the movie's big budget, a lot of these, you know, cast members, crew members, a lot of them probably just took a lot of paycheck cuts, you know. I'm sure movies like these, these, these kind of movies are just a labor of love and, and it's not just a way to make money, it's a way to send some sort of message and I think that's truly special when you come across it. So that concludes the video. I plan to turn this channel into something that will turn into a film analysis or breakdown on Filipino films, as well as give general tips for filmmakers. And maybe it will evolve into different topics as well. I like making these videos. I learn a lot by doing these as well. But if you want to support this channel, please hit the like and subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. It's very important for a small channel like mine to have its first few subscribers, so please help me out. More videos to come soon.